Hello, I'm Daniil, and welcome to the Moon Project. We here at the Moon Project are continuing in our series of videos with respect to information, education, inspiration, advice, guidance, and uh, with respect to uh, guidance. I spoke uh, uh, a little while ago uh, about getting advice uh, with respect to uh, uh, correcting people from the Vilna Gaon, the Gaon's advice. And I want to expand on uh, the Vilna Gaon and correcting uh, in this way. People that perhaps you should avoid correcting and um, the type of person who appreciates um, when you correct them, when you try to point them in the right, right directions. Now with respect to um, Rashas, you know, wicked people and, and, and on this subject, the Vilna Gaon lumps them into two groups. He says there are two types of evil people. Uh, one type is verbally abusive to others. If you try to correct a person of this type, not only will he fail to accept what you say, but he will also hate you. The other person, the other type of person, wicked person, is someone who takes action to harm others. It is dangerous to try to correct such a person because he's likely to try and harm you if you tell him that he has any faults. A wise person, chacham, a wise person is someone who continuously wants to grow in Torah, and he appreciates it if you point out to him that he is doing something wrong. His goal is self-improvement, and he loves every opportunity to become a better person. So, with respect to Rashaim, with respect to the wicked people, he's saying, well, there's people who are all talk, they'll say nasty things about you, they'll, uh, they'll, uh, they'll hate you, they'll, they'll resent you, they'll talk Lush and Hara, evil speech against you, and then there's the kind of person, the kind of Russia, the kind of wicked person that take thing, things into action. Chas v'sholem, this person will try and physically harm you, or your property, or cause you some sort of uh, damage. Try to avoid uh, this kind of person. Um, if you try to tell them that they have faults, they're not going to. They're not going to take it well. The chacham, the wise person, who appreciates. Um, being straightened out, pointed in the right direction, learning, uh, will accept your words, provided your words are done in the, uh, in the correct manner. That you're not just, hey, you're doing something wrong. What are you, stupid? What, what, you don't know this? What's the matter? You don't know this? What, what are you telling me you, you don't? What you do is, as it says in the previous advice from the Vilna Gaon, do it with love and affection. Do it in a way that will help the person, help him to correct himself, and also help him in appreciating that you're giving him assistance, you're not criticizing him for the fun of it. Um, but people who are, uh, their whole thing is evil speech or evil actions, first of all, they're not going to listen to you, and secondly, they may do you some harm. So, um, more wise words from the Vilna Gaon with respect to correcting people. And I want to re repeat, it, it bears repeating. Correcting something that you need to do with love, and you should never get any enjoyment out of it. Um, I saw a situation, unfortunately, where a person who was, um, was either a convert or Balchova, there, was, there were gaps in his knowledge. And there was a younger person, a young man, late teens. He was doing something, and the, the young man uh, came to him and says, this is what, you don't know how to do this? He says, oh, you know, I did it. Seriously, you don't know how to do this, really, you don't know how to do it. He was an embarrassing person. He could have taken it as an opportunity to teach the man, teach him some Torah, improve him, but no. He took it as an opportunity to embarrass the person. Thank goodness I overheard it. It was no other person who did it publicly. It would have been a great, great, uh, great avera, a great wrong uh, to have embarrassed someone. Um, the man, by the way, was a Balchuva. Uh, the kid uh, was a yeshiva student. He spent his entire life uh, learning this stuff. To him, it was second nature, and anyway, it was an unpleasant situation. God forbid you ever uh, uh, do that to someone. It's, it's not right. Use it as an opportunity to teach someone, to correct someone, to make them a better person. 
don't use it as an opportunity to embarrass someone because their, their knowledge isn't up to a certain level. Um, teach them, help them, give them a hand. Uh, you be a better person, they'll be a better person, and Hashem will be happy. We're going to be doing more videos along these lines. Please come back, please watch, please learn. And until next time, on behalf of the Imona Project, I'm Daniel, and thank you too much.